Hi kids, good to see you today. Me and Monkey are here again for another chance to be able to share God's Word with you. And Monkey, before I came on, he said he wanted to ask me a question that he thought everybody might be interested in. So Monkey, go ahead and ask your question. What is it? Mm -hmm. Monkey, that is actually a very interesting question. He wants to know, how could Jesus pay for all the sins of everybody who would ever live by dying just one time? So, Monkey, do you want to know why didn't Jesus have to die over and over and over again every time that we sin? All right, that's actually a very good question. Because you're wondering if, if, if like, when you sin tomorrow and the day after that, and, how, and when the whole world, when everybody does bad things, why doesn't Jesus have to die all over again to pay for those sins? Okay, that's a, how could he pay for everything one time? All right. Well, let me see. How can I explain this so that a monkey can understand it? Let me think here. All right, I've, all right. imagine this. Here's an example for you. Imagine that a very rich man walks into a restaurant, okay? And imagine that he, he looks out and he sees hundreds of people at this restaurant and they're all having so much fun and they're, they're eating their favorite food and they're having fun talking to each other. And he goes, you know what? I really love these people. I'm gonna pay for all of their dinners. Wait a minute, you know what? I love these people so much, I'm gonna pray, pay for their, their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to pay for their breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the rest of their lives. For any time they want to walk into this restaurant, they can have dinner for free, or breakfast for free, or lunch for free. What do you think of that? I know, he'd have to be very rich and generous, wouldn't he? Absolutely. So this guy goes to the restaurant owner, and he goes, Sir, I want to pay for all of these people just one time. I'll give you a billion dollars right now. How much is a billion dollars? It's a lot of money. I'll give you an example. Have you ever heard of a thousand? You ever heard of a million? Okay. And then a billion. So there's thousands, there's millions, and there's billions. If I said to you, monkey, can I borrow a banana and I'll give it back to you in a million seconds? Do you know how long you'd have to wait? 12 days. Would you be willing to wait 12 days for me to pay you back? Okay. But if I said, monkey, I'll pay you back in a billion seconds, you'd have to wait 32 years. That's how much a billion is. So imagine how much a billion dollars is. Yeah. So if I say to the restaurant owner, I'll pay you a billion dollars. And this is to pay, I'm going to pay you once for all. Once. I'm going to give you the money right now for everybody, for all time, for as long as they live, for any time they want to come in here and have dinner or lunch or breakfast. Now that would be an example. You see, that would be like Jesus paying for us one time. Jesus came in and he, he dies one time. He comes to the earth and he pays for our sins one time, but it's so much that it pays for everybody at the same time forever. Do you understand that? In fact, Monkey, let me, let me get a scripture here for you. My Bible's right here. Let me grab it. Now, Monkey, I want to read you a, a passage of scripture uh, that has something to say about what we just talked about, okay? Monkey? Remember how we talked about how I can't see through your head? Okay, good. Okay, why don't you just move your head over there? All right, now, I'm going to read it, okay? All right, good boy. All right, it says... For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. And the life that he now lives, he lives unto God. You see, the Bible tells us that Jesus only died once, and he can never die again. Never. But it says that he died one time for all, once for all. And that one death was so 
was so expensive, Jesus is so precious that he was able to pay for all of us. Now, monkey, this only works, this only works if Jesus is more valuable than all of us put together. All right, think about this. Think about if I walked into a grocery store and I saw a mountain of bananas. Let's imagine there was a mountain. No, no we're imagining. We're, it's only imagining. We're, we're imagining. Monkey, it's imagining. It's, it's not real. We're imagining. It's just an imagination. There's not a real mountain of bananas, okay? We're just, we're just using our imagination right now, okay? Okay. That was close. Now, imagine we walk into the grocery store and there's a mountain, a mountain of bananas. And I walk up to the grocery store owner and I said, I want to buy all of those bananas. And I pull out of my pocket one gold, pure gold coin. Yeah. And I say, here, I will give you this for all of those. And he goes, deal. And he takes the gold coin and says, here, you can have all those bananas now. Now, why did he do that? That's right. Because that one gold coin is worth more than all those bananas put together. And that's Jesus. Jesus precious life, Jesus precious blood was so expensive and so precious to God that he was able to pay for all of us, the whole world at the same time forever. Yes, monkey, God really does want everyone to be saved. In fact, 2 Peter Chapter 3 and verse 9 says that. 2 Peter 3, 9 says that God is not willing, I mean, He doesn't want anyone to perish. He doesn't want anyone to die without Him. But it says He wants everyone, everyone to repent of their sins. That means He wants everyone to turn away from sin and He wants them to love Him and to obey Him. God wants everybody in His family. I mean, if the Bible didn't say that, then I wouldn't know that that was true. But when the Bible says God doesn't want anyone to perish, but he wants everyone to come to repentance, that means everyone. Jesus died once for all. And kids, I want you to know, Jesus died for you. And Jesus wants you to be in his family. He wants you to serve him. And he wants you to obey him. He wants you to put your faith in him and to believe that his death on the cross was for you and he wants you to live your life for him. And the Bible says that God's rewards for, for loving him and for serving him in this life and in the life that's yet to come are beyond what any of us could ever imagine. The Bible says nobody has ever, ever imagined what God has prepared for the people that love him. So monkey, I think that that is a, a wonderful question you asked. And I hope that that helps you to understand, all right? So just remember, Romans chapter 6, verses 9 and 10 is where it tells us that Christ died once and for all. And monkey, when he did that, he broke the chains of sin and death. And that means you and I never have to be afraid of death anymore. And the reason Jesus had to get away, had to, to destroy sin was because sin is what separates us from God. Sin is, is why some people will never spend eternity with God. It's because their sin has separated them from Him forever because they'd never put their faith in Jesus. So there's many more things I could say about this, but, but Jesus' death on the cross and His resurrection from the dead completely destroyed sin and death in the lives of those who believe in Him. Okay? Sure, I'd be happy to draw you a picture about that. I'll draw a picture for you. And I'll draw a picture for you. I'm going to go put him down, and we'll be right back. So remember, kids, Jesus died once and for all, and that means he died for you.